Kathleen and I put together a proposal that uh, then was accepted under this program uh, at the NHLBI called the U01 program where they fund small phase two trials. We were advised by the FDA, well, what you need to do is uh, submit a pre-IND application and then you'll know pretty quickly from the FDA some of the elements you might be missing and where you need to go. In the summer of 2010, we submitted a pre-IND application and we had an extensive phone call with them. I think we learned from the pre-IND phone call that we had a lot more work to do. Um, the FDA had a lot more regulatory requirements in terms of the small, we'd done small animal studies, but they wanted to see more small animal safety studies and it became clear that preparing the entire IND application for this project to move these cells into humans was going to be an enormous undertaking that I think we hadn't really appreciated. We knew that we had probably um, the correct cell therapy to use and in fact that was one of the very encouraging things from the pre-IND review. They said you're fine in terms of the uh, clinical grade cells but your protocol design is a little naive. For example, we had thought it would be uh, reasonable to anticipate giving these cells to patients three times, let's say on day one, two, and three of their illness. But they pointed out, they said, we, you really cannot do that. We can't give you an ID for that unless you have preclinical animal data that more than one dose is safe. Um, and uh, from there, the story evolves uh, uh, to us uh, realizing that they were right and strongly recommending we find a way to do a larger animal model than we could do here. Oh, <laughs>